Hello everyone. We know the methods of solving system of linear algebraic equations. There are so many methods. Some of them applying numerical methods or by matrices method. But here two equations are given. First equation is x square plus y is equal to 73. And second equation is y square plus x is equal to 73. We have to solve these two equations to get the values of two unknown variables x and y. Let us assume this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. To solve this system, first of all, let us take addition of these two equations and then subtraction of these two equations. 1 plus 2 gives. Addition of these two equations means addition of left hand sides is equal to addition of right hand sides. So, this can be written as x square plus y left hand side of first equation plus left hand side of second equation y square plus x is equal to sum of right hand sides that is 73 plus 73 and this is equal to we can write collecting square terms x square plus y square in one bracket plus this x and this y in another bracket x plus y is equal to 146 okay consider this is equation number 3 let us take subtraction of equation 1 and equation 2 means we have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1 so 1 minus 2 gives left hand side of equation number 1 that is x square plus y minus left hand side of second equation is y square plus x and this is equal to right hand side of equation 1 that is 73 minus right hand side of equation 2 that is again 73. Let us simplify left hand side x square plus y minus y square minus x is equal to 73 minus 73 is equal to 0. Let us collect square terms in one bracket and then x and y in another bracket. So, this can be written as x square minus y square taking minus and common minus of this x becomes positive x and this y becomes negative is equal to 0. Since we know a square minus b square is equal to a minus b into a plus b. Applying this formula here, x square minus y square can be written as x plus y in one bracket in another bracket x minus y and then this minus sign and this bracket x minus y as it is is equal to right hand side 0. Now, from left hand side, you can take this bracket common. Then left hand side becomes taking x minus y common into bracket. In first term, this bracket remains that is x plus y. And from here, x minus y is taken common. So, remains only minus 1. This is equal to 0. But we know a into b is equal to 0. This implies either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 or both a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0. So, we can write x minus y is equal to 0 and x plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get these two results. From this equation, x is equal to y and from this equation, x plus y is equal to 1. But in statement of our problem, it is given x is not equal to y. So, this case is failed. So, we can write here x is equal to y, this case is failed. Now, we have to assume only this one, x plus y is equal to 1. Consider this is equation number 4. Squaring both sides of this equation, we can write here squaring both sides x plus y square of this is equal to 1 square expand this 
first term square plus 2 times first term into second term plus second term square is equal to 1 square. 1 square is 1. So, this can be written as x square plus 2xy plus y square is equal to 1. Now, x square plus y square we have to collect in one bracket plus 2 times xy is equal to 1. Already we have obtained this equation x square plus y square plus x plus y is equal to 146 which is equation number 3. Now consider this as equation number 5. Equation 4 is x plus y is equal to 1. Substitute this equation 4 in equation 3. Means x plus y is equal to 1 we have to put here. So equation 3 becomes x square plus y square plus 1 this is equal to 146. Now take this one on right hand side. Hence x square plus y square is equal to 146 minus 1 and this is equal to 145. x square plus y square is equal to 145. Suppose this is equation number 6. Now we have to substitute equation number 6 in equation number 5. Hence equation 5 becomes 145 plus 2xy is equal to 1. Take this 145 on right hand side. Then 2xy is equal to 1 minus 145. 2xy is equal to minus 144. Hence, hence xy is equal to minus 144 divided by 2. And this is equal to minus 72. Let us find x in terms of y. Means transfer this y on right hand side. Hence x is equal to minus 72 upon y. Now put this value of x in equation number 4. Put in equation 4. You know equation 4 is x plus y is equal to 1. We are replacing x by minus 72 upon y here. So, minus 72 upon y plus y is equal to 1. Taking cross multiplication or making LCM on both sides as y. This can be written as minus 72 plus y square is equal to y into 1 y whole divided by y. So, this can be written as minus 72 plus y square is equal to y. And this is quadratic equation in y. Consider this is equation number 7. Let us solve this equation number 7 to get the two values of y. So, this quadratic equation becomes y square minus y minus 72 is equal to 0. Find the factors of 72 so that their subtraction will be minus 1. And that factors will be 72 can be written as 9 into 8. So, y square minus y can be written as minus 9y plus 8y minus 72 is equal to 0. Taking y common from first two terms and from here we have to take 8 common. So, y into bracket y minus 9 plus 8 is taken common and here in second bracket y minus 9 this is equal to 0. Now we have to take this bracket common from these two terms on left hand side. So y minus 9 in another bracket remains y plus 8 is equal to 0. Again applying multiplication property that is a into b is equal to 0. This implies 
ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो और बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो और ए एंड बी बोथ इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हियर फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज वाई माइनस नाइन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड सेकेंड ब्रैकेट y प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई माइनस नाइन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इंप्लाइज वाई इज इक्वल टू नाइन एंड फ्रॉम यर वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस एट सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इन इक्वेशन नंबर फोर पुट इन इक्वेशन फोर दिस वैल्यू ऑल्सो वी हैव टू पुट इन इक्वेशन नंबर फोर एंड यू नो इक्वेशन नंबर फोर इज एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू वन वी आर ऑप्टेन वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वाई इज नाइन पुट हियर एक्स प्लस नाइन इज इक्वल टू वन हेन्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस नाइन प्लस वन hence x is equal to minus 9 plus 1 is minus 8 when x is minus 8 y is 9 x plus y is equal to 1 here y is minus 8 put here x plus minus 8 is equal to 1 That is x minus eight is equal to one. Take this minus eight on right hand side. X is equal to eight plus one is equal to nine. Hence, x is equal to nine. So there are two pairs as solution of given equation, and that two pairs are. Minus eight comma nine and second pair nine comma minus eight. Okay, and which is answer? Thanks.